Man, there's so many zombies here. I wonder if there's a way to get rid of all the zombies. Wait a second, huh? This is America. Yes. Yes, this is great. Good job, turrets. Good job. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, it's been a while since the last one, but I decided to make another one. So um, we're back here now, and um, I just, today I decided to do the Open Modular Turrets mod, which is a great mod for defending bases and just making cool turrets that you can that have many uses for, which have many uses for. Um, uh, disclaimer, I will be using um, Thermal Expansion, as this mod does require RF. So here you can see Thermal Expansion mods. I, I will not explain how these work. I might make a future video, but um, here is Thermal Expansion. So there will be Thermal Expansion as part of these mods. Um, so let's start right off. Uh, in, this, uh, in the game, there are different bases for... Um, each turret okay and there's also 10 different types of turrets okay each turret and base having their own tiers tier 1 tier 2 tier 3 tier 4 and tier 5 each one having a different material as it goes up and with a turret that also goes with it the first one is be the first one that you will find is the tier 1 turret base this is the very first uh, turret base that you can make in the game it is created with wood cobblestone and redstone go over here and then uh you also require a sensor sensors is use the red and wood so you get a sensor go back here and you can make a tier one turret base so let's get rid of this so with this turret base you can uh start placing turrets you can place turrets on either either side this does take an RF. As you can see, this only has 500 RF. It does not um, get higher as we go on. You can also increase or decrease the range. Right now, there's no turret on it, so the range is just zero. Here, you can put in ammo, and here are different stats of the um, turret. Inverted means it, you can put in a redstone sig signal um, to start it when it will require a redstone signal. Actually, no, it will not require a redstone signal to start it. Um, you can toggle the modes here. Non-inverted means it will require redstone signal. Always on, always off. Self-explanatory. You can configure who we want to attack it with. Uh, you can drop the base into the turrets. So now let's go over to, to the first two types of turrets. There's the disposable and there's the potato cannon turret. Both of these are pretty basic tier turrets and do not have much use on them. This is, here is the disposable item turret. You can see it looks pretty basic. And you, if we go over to craft, crafting recipes of it, so here, requires redstone, cobblestone, a chamber, and a barrel. A barrel is created with, uh, the tier one barrels is cobblestone and woods. So, get that. And then the a tier one chamber also takes up cobblestone, wood, and redstone. So we can take this, and then now with those two, we can go back here and we can make ourselves the turret. But we do not need this as we have it here. So as you can see, uh, with this uh, redstone flux going in, you can, uh, it, it's automatically powered, but if you do not have that, you can craft a basic turret base clank, which you can put on the side. This is, I believe these only work for, for tier one turrets, and you can, crank them and it'll make RF. We do not need that as there's already going uh, RF going in here. So this turret uses, um, this turret uses, uh, not zombies, I'm just grabbing these. This turret requires, um, any sort of disposable item. That's why it's called this, um, that's why it's called disposable item turret. It can use, uh, oak planks or cobblestone. So let's put our cobblestone in there. So if we go out here, and we place a zombie. You can see it shoots at it. It will automatically fire and most of the time will not miss, but still has some 
uh, disperse on it. You can see uh, it does, if you hold down shift, you can see it does low accuracy and does one heart. And the zombie has 10 hearts, so it takes 10 shots. So not the best, and it takes 2 RF per shot. This has 500 RF. But, yeah. Or this has no a um, um, AE. So we can, so let's remove this now and let's move on to the next one. The potato cannon. This one has slightly more, uh, takes up slightly more RF, but does more damage, and shoots uh, slightly slower. This one requires two chambers, uh, two barrels, chamber, and two redstone and cobblestone. Now we have that, so now we have the potato cannon. Okay, so the potato cannon, we can obviously get some potatoes, put it in there. Uh, this one, uh, if you see, will shoot slower, and but do more damage. These zombies will be dying faster as we are in the sun, but you can see the point of how they uh, shoot. And this one, um, this one's accuracy is not the best, but it still it still fires. So done. So now we finish with the tier one turrets. Those were basic tier one turrets, not not the best of the best, but still, um, can still like maybe just keep enemies back. Moving on, we get the tier 2 base. This base is base for maybe for some more uh, additional tower, um, turrets. It has 50,000 RF with the ammo and fuel. And uh, it comes, it has two tier, there's two tier, tier, um, tier 2 turrets. There's the gun turret, which um, as you can uh, see, uh, looks, um, looks, it looks like this, looks has the barrel going down. Is more metallic-y, and this one takes up bullets. You can see here bullets. Bullets require um, bullets require iron and gunpowder. So let's get some gunpowder, and I made sure to put some iron over here. So if we put, so we can make uh, some. All right, so right here we can make some bullets. One of these will make an entire stack. So. Make sure you don't run out, because this, as you can look at the stats here, it shoots 2.5 per second, and it takes up 100 per shot, and does one heart of damage, so much better uh, than before. So we put those in there, if we get the zombie back, you can see the firing at which it shoots very fast shots, and deals high damage to the, to the, towards the zombies. So let's remove that now. Now we can put the incinerary turret on it. The incinerator, as you can see here, has two barrels, and takes up incinerary ammo, called uh, blazing clay. It requires redstone, clay, and blaze powder. There's some of that in here. So let's put the, um, so let's take that out, and just take that ammo out. Put this away. And this, this turret, uh, this turret, does it shoots slightly slower it does have aoe damage so as a range it does one heart one damage per heart and 250 rf per shot go over here spawn that you can um because he's already on fire you can um you cannot see him set on fire so uh let's just like okay so now spawn him in you can see that uh even though it's nighttime the uh turret will shoot at it saying it on blaze. One a very effective turret on dealing with large crowds. Okay, let's remove that and head over to a crafting recipe. I'm not sure what happened. Crafting recipe of the gun turret is two iron barrels. So iron barrels require uh, level one barrels. So if we go over here and get this this barrel and this chamber. The level one require the level two it requires a level 1 plus some iron, so we'll need some of that. And how much was it? It's 2, so let's get another one. And then it also required a chamber, which also uses up uh, a tier 1 chamber. And it also requires... And tur the turret base also requires um, a tier 1 base, plus a tier 2 sensor, which uses a tier 1 sensor. So 
you cannot go straight so th this makes the game more progressive you cannot go straight to a tier 2 base as you'd have to get tier 1 parts first so let's go over and um let's get a uh tier 1 sensor so let's get the here we have the tier one. Oh, and IO bus. We also need these IO buses uh, are used in many recipes for this. So if we go here, we can craft a bunch of IO buses. So now let's go over back to here. Sensor. Let's get the sensor too. And then we can make oh we need a few more IO buses. Let's go there. We need our turret base. Very uh, tedious process if you want to make a tier two base because you'd have to make everything for a tier one base and then make the tier two base. We get that's so we got the two, two, tier two base. And for the incinerary and and for the um no not not the rocket launcher the incinerary cannon, it needs two barrels, two iron, two chambers, and an IO bus. Because of because of the long process to make the items, I won't uh, I won't show I'll just flash the crafting recipes on the screen so you um, may see them, but I uh, will not be uh, making them because it will, it will, this video will be three hours long then. So let's get the next set of uh, weapons. So first, here's the um, tier three turret base has a hundred. 50,000 RF, yeah, 150,000. We have a grenade launcher turret, which shoots grenades. Two hard to damage, hard to damage, uh, two shots, three AOE, and 8,000 RF per use. So let's use that turret. Let's place our zombie over there. And this turret takes up grenades ammo. There is throwable grenades. I am not sure how those work. They uh, refuse to fire. So let's put the ammo in here. You can see this does large AOE. This does large AOE damage um, in big to big groups of zombies. If you play some zombies here, play some zombies here, you can see how all of them are damaged. Uh, let's, 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 uh, yeah, there you go. Let's see how they all. Okay, you can see how um, all of them shoot. You can see how it does uh, splash damage to all of these. Yeah, see. splash damage. So let's remove this now. Take that. Let's move on to a very interesting turret, tier three base. The real of um the rel rel uh the, yeah this turret does five thousand RF per shot. Uh, slow fire rate. And does not do damage this turret. This turret, on the other hand, it also does not take up ammo. Instead, it gives uh, zombies the slowness of um, effect. You can see these zombies are much slower now. They're, they're barely even. They're, yeah, you see, if you look at that zombie over there, he's barely trudging, um, trud trotting along, barely moving. Interesting turret, useful to maybe slow them down and group them up. Um. Uh, very interesting turret to use. Let's move on to the um, move on to the next turret. Okay. Tier four turrets. This uh, the uh, tier four tier fours require diamonds to create and are um, and are much better than before. This is when we start getting into uh, the much better turrets. Here, 500,000 RF, so pretty decent. Put a rocket launcher turret on here. Rocket launcher turret shoots pretty slow, has high AOE damage, and does high damage. 5,000 RF per shot. This requires, this takes up rockets. And if you see, it does a lot of, yeah, it, it does many, it does much damage. Accuracy, maybe not the best, but, um, Still a really powerful, a really powerful uh, weapon. You can see them all shooting now. Uh, that's what that, that's what the turrets were that were back at the base were. These were rocket turrets. 
trying to shoot it. Uh, so let's remove this. Uh, let's move on to another very interesting turret. The teleporter turret. This turret uh, shoots pretty uh, f uh, slowly. It takes up 15,000 RF per shot. But does very something very interesting with the zombies. Place the zombie down. It teleports it straight here. Which uh, can help um, in like uh, collecting zombies so our turrets can shoot at it. Yeah, as you can see it collects them all up. Um, uh, collects them all up to this to the very top of the turret, which can be useful in many cases. So let's remove this turret now and get something to clear out these zombies. Moving on to the next set of turrets. These are the tier five turrets. Oh, let's get some of these. These are the tier five turrets. These turrets are the best of the best and require obsidian to make. They use um, the. They have come with two: the laser turret, which very high fire rate and high damage, eight thousand RF per shot, and the railgun turret, very slow, one uh, does what lots of damage, one shot, and has twenty five thousand RF per shot. Let's place down one of these, and these do not require um, uh, ammo, they just shoot along. You can see they have high range, high damage, and destroy uh, stuff very fast. You can see they still miss some of their shots, as their accuracy is not perfect, especially at a distance. But it, you can just see how um, you can just see how, how strong they are, even in, even in, even in groups. Uh, if I place that one there. I believe it ran out of ammo. But yeah, um, yeah, very strong turrets. The best of the best. You can see the blueprint now. Here is the rail railgun turret. This turret is the largest of them all, and uh, as said before, does high damage that can uh, one shot kill zombies as well as. Um, as well as, uh, um, yeah, no no ammo required, just high damage. We get a zombie and spawn him right there. Uh, if we look, it can open its own turrets. Oh yeah, I f oh yeah, uh, this, this, um, this turret actually requires ammo. Ferromagnetic slugs, if you go over here, you can see, uh, ferromagnetic slugs. Um, this ferromagnetic slugs, putting, put them inside, and it, um, and it, uh, and it will f start firing. Very slowly, granted, but still, high damage. One, you can, you can see it, uh, go around and shoot. See him aiming at you can see him now aiming at that zombie. Zombie's dead, yep, there you go. Turret is best of the best. So with that final turret, there are a few points, there are a few um honorable mentions I'd like to go over. Uh including um add-ons. So um uh here's a quick overview of every add-on. More damage. Uh not sure what it does. Uh, saves, uh, some shots don't actually fire, it's saving ammo. Makes its own uh, power. Uh, makes its own power based on what redstone is in it. Uh, compatibility with, com with, a, with, com with uh, open computer mod. Compatibility with open computer mod. Solar panel that charges during the day. Uh, drops loot as if a, as if it drops uh, loot from enemies as if a, as if kill as if it was a player. Uh, hides turret increases the range. Uh, makes it scatter makes scatter shots. Increases fire rate. Increases uh, RF efficiency, and increases its accuracy.
I will not go over. I will not be. I will not go over. I will not go over the blueprints for uh, any of these, as it will take way too long. But um, uh, you can. But um, uh, we can now. I I will not be showing the blueprints for any of these, as it will take too long. But as we can. But in the meanwhile, you can watch some cool defensive. Well, everyone, uh, that seems like it's going to be it for today. If this video was helpful, make sure to like and comment the video. Don't forget to also subscribe if you enjoyed this video. It's not very hard. Just go down and click the big red button. Um, if you want to see more content, make sure to hit the bell and keep checking the channel. I um, will be posting new videos, hopefully, as well as a few little, uh, a few little surprises doing maybe a KSP video, but anyways, um, this was great, it was very fun making this video, it took a while, so please, uh, um, so please, I hope you enjoyed it, and, uh, see you next time.